Uli, grüß dich, wie geht's? Tell us a little bit about this deal from Very your good. side. Um, is it as surprising to you as it is to us? It was a surprising deal. Nobody uh, knew about that. But Bayern was uh, keen on uh, Joao Cancelo for a long time. They had always, uh, in, they were always in contact for the last couple of years because they want to have him. That's maybe the difference to Chelsea. They, Bayern knows the player who they are, they will want to sign. So he was just at the press conference, and he, he is very keen on it. And he's uh, he loves to play for Bayern. Tomorrow there's a cup game, so he said he's already ready to play tomorrow. I don't know if uh, the manager Julian Nagelsmann will do that, but uh, in face it's a big deal for Bayern. He's a very experienced player. They had problems on the wing side, uh, on the right hand side, uh, so it's a perfect deal for Bayern München. It, the fall from grace for João Cancelo at City is quite spectacular, isn't it, Uli? Speculation of a fallout with Pep Guardiola. What did the player say about why he left the club? He, he denied an argument with Pep Guardiola on the one hand, but on the other hand, he was asked uh, if he was talking to Pep Guardiola about Bayern München because uh, Guardiola had a very successful time here in Munich. <laughs> he denied that too. He said it was short of time. So I think there must happen something which he doesn't want to uh, to ex explain, which I can't understand because uh, he is only on loan. Maybe he has to go back uh, to, to to England uh, at the end of the of the season. Season. So that's why he has all doors open still, but Bayern needs him. If he can perform, if he performs well, it's a very good deal for them, especially because uh, Benjamin Pavard, the, the French national player, he is out of form. He didn't play at the World Cup very much. Uh, in fact, I think he didn't play only in the first game and was substituted. And he, he doesn't, he wants to go to Barcelona. Nobody understands why when he's not performing. And then on the other hand, uh, Massa Rui, the, the guy from Morocco, he played at the World Cup uh, with a COVID injury or right after COVID injury. He has heart problems now, so they need him desperately. So, Joao Concello uh, is the right man at the right time and at the right club, I hope. Early, before we let you go briefly, any other potential deals you should be looking out for as far as Bayern or German football clubs are concerned? No, uh, there is uh, also a lot of uh, things going on, but nothing which is really interested uh, in England. I think Cancelo uh, is, the, is the best thing, and Bayern München, they, they, they thought they finished their transfer activities already a couple of uh, days ago, but now the opportunity with Cancelo, which they had uh, in mind for a long time, that made the, 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 the mind changing, so he is here now, but no big deals uh, going up. Uh, Germany has not so much money as the English clubs. <laughs> Danke dir, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a good point. I think Chelsea spent more money than the entire Bundesliga, Merce. But let's talk about uh, João Cancelo. What's your reaction to that? Is that Arsenal's best signing of the window, that move, do you think? Yeah. Strength you know, we talk about seven, eight-year contracts. That's how quickly football yeah. changes. You're talking last season, we were talking one of him being one of the main players at Man City, the way they were playing. It was, it was sort of, a lot of it was down to him. And then all of a sudden, not even a year on, he's, he's out on loan in Germany. So, yeah, I was, I was shocked. I was very shocked. So Arsenal I'm, be enjoying that, do you think? I, I would say so. I, he's a big, I'm a big fan of his, but it just shows you how quickly football can change. Yeah. What about the fee then, 61 plus million pounds? What do you think of that for a 28-year-old? Uh, affects football matches. If yeah. He affects football matches. I think, you know, him going there... He brings them in, to, in, in, the, in the next few years as big players in the Champions League. I think he plays in a position where it's so hard to pick up, where Zinchenko does it for Arsenal now. And I think it, it affects football matches, and I think it's a good, good deal. Have City got enough to get over the line and to hold Arsenal back now? You look at the fullbacks in particular. Aki obviously scored against Arsenal in the Cup. Yeah, Aki's a good defender. He had Saka in his pocket that night. You know, there's no doubt about that. It's the first time I've seen someone keep Saka quiet this season. Watching the game the other night against Man City, I fancy Arsenal more now than when I did before that game. Okay. You know, I, I think Arsenal have got enough. They're there for the long haul. I think if they can get the Jorginho one over the line, it's another body plus it's experience. Arsenal are a young football team. You know, I was fortunate enough to be in title runnings. It all changes with six games to go. It's a lot different to what it is today with 20 or 18 games to go. When it gets down to that nitty-gritty of six games, that's when you, you'll need your Jorginho's.